Our first real evidence is from the early 1940s, and at that point, segregation was accepted by most white Americans. It wasn't questioned at all. Um, segregation of schools, not only segregation, but discrimination, what we would now call discrimination in employment. Uh, the majority of white Americans believed that white people should have the first opportunity to get a job, for example, and that blacks should be behind them. <clears throat> now, it's probably even more extreme in the 30s. We don't have detailed evidence there, but um, signs saying no, no blacks, uh, no Jews, no minorities of any kind were openly displayed and very widely accepted. Um, Sometime during the 1940s, probably, and we don't know exactly why and we don't know exactly when, uh, it's clearest at the end of World War II, there began to be changes, and they were changes, as I say, toward all minorities. It was not only changes in white attitudes toward blacks. Um, and the changes uh, began with the uh, uh, rejection of discrimination and gradually the rejection of segregation, legal segregation in schooling. And that began in the early 40s, so far as we can tell, and has continued right up until today. Uh, so far as we can see, even today, despite what one hears about disturbances on college campuses and other kinds of, of uh, even violence in some cases, uh, white attitudes have continued to change in what would be considered a positive direction toward blacks and, as I say, toward other minorities.